What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. I have the Vivo X Fold and the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Now, what I'm gonna do is switch the SIM card that's in here. Currently it's an AT&T SIM card and I'm gonna put it in the Vivo X Fold and see if it works, see if it uh, can get 5G, what kind of speeds it gets. I will make a phone call, do a text, make sure all of that stuff works on here. Um, I've done two speed tests so far on the Galaxy Z Fold 3. I just wanted to, and they're kind of different. So I'm gonna do one more speed test, test again. And I live pretty close to the border, so that's why it says at and Mexico. I'm not actually in Mexico, um, so we'll see. The first test, I think, got like 199 down. This, these last two have gotten, you can see, like 250, 260. This one's actually getting higher than the, the second test, so it's pretty good. So far with the test, we'll let this one finish real quick, but 286 and 30 megs. But as you know, it's, it fluctuates, but I'm going to do these as, as, as quick as possible so that we can get a fairly... Uh, decent speed so there we go and I'll go into here and then results and you can see just for today uh, 286 255 199 and the upload speeds have it's weird the, uh, the upload download speeds got faster each time the upload speeds got slower each time so whatever that means but they should have used all the same servers AT&T in uh, Mexico near Tijuana okay so I'm gonna put that over here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop out the sim card for my Galaxy Z Fold 3 SIM card is officially out. And on this phone, it's at the bottom. Actually, I grabbed the wrong thing. Okay, let's pop this out. Woo! Okay, so this has SIM one and SIM two. So this actually is a dual SIM phone. So if you wanted to, you could keep uh, different SIMs in here. All right, SIM card is now in this phone, so let's turn off Wi-Fi, just so we can see if we get 5G data show up. It's showing four 5G network may not be available. The current data is not from mainland China. Let's see what that says. You may not be able to use the 5G network. So it looks like on at and unless I can do something, I don't see that I'll be able to uh, do that. All right, so you can see I'm on the same server, at and Mexico Tijuana. I'm gonna hit open and start this test, see what kind of speeds we get holding the phone. <clears throat> so, so far, not that amazing. <laughs> I mean, definitely fast enough to stream video and you know do all that kind of stuff. Let me see the upload speeds. But again, not super amazing. 25. Not terrible, like I said, but it definitely would want definitely better than that because you saw the 5G on the Z Fold 3 was getting much better speeds. Let's do that again. We'll test again. Same servers. Looks good. Test it. Yeah, so it looks like it's probably not going to pop over 80 megs per second. It looks like 70 to 75 is going to be the top range and then the upload speeds. This time they're getting a little bit slower, but they were at about 26 on the last test. And then we'll just test it one more time just to be doubly sure, triply sure, I should say. Test again. <clears throat> there we go. All right, yeah, 70, ooh, is it, yeah, it's about 70, 72 to 74. And this is where I live, obviously. It's, it could be a little bit faster, a little bit slower, uh, depending upon where you live. All right, so let's look at this message again. It says, 5G network may not be available. The current data card is not from mainland China. You may not be able to use the 5G network. And when we, it won't even let us click on it. It just goes into phone services. So let me jump into phone services. So when I go into SIM card and settings, I can enable the SIM card, which it already was enabled. It has the enable 5G, which is on, which you would expect. You also have the carrier, ask the access point name is correct. So everything looks like it's set up correctly. Let me try to make a phone call. Okay, we're gonna call Samsung. I tried calling Samsung, it said call ended, which is kind of weird. So I don't even think I can make phone calls on here. Currently I'm having trouble making phone calls. It ends after every call immediately when I press send. So I'm gonna restart the phone and see if that fixes it. After a fresh restart, it's still on 4G. And I still can't make phone calls. They look like they're going through. I sent a couple text messages. I'm gonna check 
because um, I texted myself. But I checked my phone and I am not getting any notifications that I received a text on, on my Google number anyway. Um, so even though they look like they're going through, they're actually not. But data does work. If I go into something on here, you can see I'm not on Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is off. And if I go into something, like I'm on the Droid Police website here, if I tap on that, it does load up the articles and I can click on different things and it does work. Go to Android Police's website, that loads up. Click on the article. So all data works, but phone calls and um, texts do not work, at least on the AT&T network for the Vivo X Fold. So unless you're looking to only make this like a tablet, I probably wouldn't use this on their network, at least from what I can see. If someone has a fix, we can try, but otherwise it seems there all the stuff that it, the way it's set up is perfectly fine. It just doesn't work on their network. Um, I will be looking to try this on T-Mobile's network as well. Thanks, have a great day, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.